Here you can see the differences in between a conventional DC setup that we used to build all the time and the Egan DC hub. So for a conventional setup, you need uh, your DC-DC charger connections, which are here, the four cables. Then you need your solar input, start battery input. These are all connected together here. You need an output fuse from the DC-DC charger to your house battery which is there and there we've just demonstrated it with junction studs you've got a earth terminal here a bus bar you've got a 10 bay fuse box then you've got an atm outlet another atm outlet and also an atm outlet here you see the setup is the same to actually build this takes us roughly eight hours if you do it in an install in a neat way and the parts by itself, including all the cabling here, are $455. If you want to have that a little bit neater and also do it a little bit faster and to be honest, quality wise, a lot better as well, you can use the Egan DC hub. It's got all these connections that you can see here, all the different ground connections. Everything is built into a circuit board here. You can connect your house battery here pretty much like here you've got four connectors for your different dc dc chargers it is compatible with all the dc dc chargers on the market uh, you've got your unregulated solar input here it then works through the dc dc chargers uh, built in solar regulator you've got your start battery input here that gets connected to the dc dc charger and you're done your house battery your start battery, your solar, your DC-DC charger, everything is connected in the way it needs to be. And straight away, you've got now three ATM outlets. That has actually changed to the previous version. We've got two more ATM outlets in the version 2.0, and you can also connect an 80 amp DC-DC charger, not just a 60 amp DC-DC charger like you could before. Plus you get 10, 25 amp outlets, all the fuses are on this board. There's blown fuse indicators. Your spare fuses can be on the board as well. You can also buy a housing for it. It's a stainless steel housing with uh, brush stainless on the outside. It's got a see-through cover. Uh, when you want to feed in cables, you do that through here. You can put cable ties through, pull them tight as a pull relief. Installation takes about two hours and you're done and the parts for the labor. Plus, it's really easy to add things to this in the future. That's why we designed this in the workshop. We're using this on a daily basis at the moment. Thank you very much for watching and more details are down below in the link.